Hey guys, so to start off you're going to need a bowl to put some water in, doesn't matter what temperature it is. Um, I just had mine lukewarm or I guess room temperature. And you're going to need a plate. I recommend the dollar store and I recommend a white one that doesn't have a ton of a dip in it. Now all you're going to need is some really cheap nail polish. I would not use your expensive kind, just get some from the dollar store as well. And you're going to pour it into the water just like I did there, kind of in a squiggly formation. And then push it in with a paintbrush to make this kind of flower pattern. And not going to lie, this DIY was not going at all how I expected. It was kind of a fail as you can see here in the video. Um, it is way, way easier to get nail polish. Um, onto a rounded surface like a bowl or a mug or a cup um, Flat surface though not really my favorite so I was Not really sure how this was going to turn out, but I fixed off the gold paint later in the video So you'll see how it turns out Now here I tried pushing in one side the plate at a time and kind of scooping up and laying down the nail polish on it. This worked a little bit better. I would say this was my favorite one marbling wise. Um, and then I went and tried to fix the other one by applying more nail polish to it and that didn't work out well either. Now this one is really simple and easy to roll the paint on. You're just going to take your mason jar or mug or whatever you want and roll it in the nail polish in the water. So exact same steps, you're just going to roll it instead of kind of dipping it. And these turned out so well. I love them. I think they're awesome. I think they would make great gifts. I don't really know if you could drink anything out of them or anything like that, um, but they work pretty well otherwise. Now, these designs I feel make the plate. You can use any color you want. I chose gold metallic paint. And for the second marble plate, I just drew two lines down the middle. There's only one showing in this clip, but I decided to go with two, one thicker one and one thinner one. And then I did this for all the plates, but I coated the edges with gold paint. And this does not have to be precise. You could always use tape to make your lines really straight, but I like that hand painted grungy look. And metallic paint, depending on what kind you're using, I just use um, acrylic paint from Artist Law from Michaels, super inexpensive. It will take a couple of coats to get it as opaque as you want. And remember that metallic paint dries more metallic than when it is in its liquid, non dry form. So, yeah. For this one, I want to show you guys a different option. This is a lighter gold and it comes in a squeezy paint tube. I actually got this in the fabric section of Michaels and it was like a dollar. It was super inexpensive. And I use this to trace all the squiggly patterns that the marble has made and kind of create my own designs. I also filled in the little bubbles that the nail polish may have made, any dots, anything like that. Get um, creative in this. And also I didn't show it in a clip but I wrote trinkets on the top of it in that same paint. So that's just another option. For the other gold plate, I lost the footage, but it's just a gold circle in the middle. Really just free handed it and went for it and that makes a wonderful candle holder. That's it you guys. I know I went through that information kind of quick. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Show me by giving it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Bye.